Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel, and I'm answering questions from the textbook from Pure Mathematics um, P um, P2 from the International A Level textbook of Pearson at Excel. This is Chapter 1 um, Algebraic Methods, Exercise 1C, Question 14 about the factor theorem. It says, given that x minus 1 and 2x minus 1 are factors of this expression px cubed plus qx squared plus 9x minus 2, find the value of p the value of q. P and q obviously are constants here. So if they are factors of this expression, then when you divide this expression by these factors, then the remainder is zero. And so if the remainder is zero, then using the remainder theorem, theorem sorry, substituting um, the value that makes these brackets zero into this expression will give you zero as the output. So if I, cons if I call the equation f of x, for example, I can call it what I want, f of x equals px cubed plus qx squared plus 9x minus 2, then we can say, I'll say let f of x equal this expression they gave us. So then we can say that, you know, if x minus 1 is a factor, if x minus 1 is a factor, is a factor, then we can say f1 is going to give us 0. Okay, and likewise, if if 2x minus 1 is a factor, okay, then f, what makes this bracket 0? 2x minus 1 equals 0, x equals a half. If I put 2x minus 1 equals 0 and I solve that for x, x is going to be a half, so that means substituting a half into this expression will also give us 0. So if these two things are, are true, let's just put them into the expression. So we have f1 is going to give us p times 1 cubed plus q times 1 squared plus 9 times 1 minus 2 which gives us p plus q plus 9 that's a 9 not a q minus 2 okay which is p plus q plus 7 so we can therefore say that p plus q plus 7 equals 0 which therefore means p plus q equals minus 7. So we can say from this that p plus q equals minus 7, p plus q equals minus 7. Now that's one equation that we have derived from the information. The other one is from when we put f equals a half into the same expression. So you're going to have p times a half cubed plus q times a half squared plus 9 times a half minus 2, which will give us 1 over 8p plus, that's going to be a quarter times q, 1 over 4q, plus 9 over 2, minus 2, and we know all of this, therefore, is going to equal 0. So we can say an eighth p plus a quarter q, plus 9 over 2, minus 2, that's going to be 9 over 2, minus 4 over 2, that's going to be plus 5 over 2, is equal to 0. Okay, that's um, 4 and a half minus 2, yep, that's... Okay, so that, that therefore, will give us the equation a half, an eighth p plus a quarter q equals minus 5 over 2. Now to make this equation a bit simpler so I don't have to deal with fractions, if I'm not, now, now I have this as an equation, we can multiply everything by 8. Why? That will eliminate the fraction. So one eight times 1 eighth is p, 8 times a quarter is 2, so it's 2q, and 8 times minus 5 over 4 will be minus 5 times 4 minus 5 over 2, sorry, would be minus 5 times 4, which is minus 20. Okay, because they cancel to give you 4, 4, 5, 4, 5 to 20. So we end up now with our second equation. So now we have equation 1, which is p plus q equals minus 7. I have equation 2, which is p plus 2q is equal to minus 20. And now we can solve these equations by, um, we can eliminate, we can do, for example, equation 2, minus equation 1, the p's will be eliminated, you'll have 22q minus q, which is q, and you have minus 20 minus minus 7, which is minus 20 plus 7, which is going to be minus 13. Okay, and then to find p, p is going to be equal to minus 7 minus q, just rearranging this equation, so p is minus 7 um, minus, minus 13, which is plus 13, which is going to give you 6. So we have p equals 6, and q equals negative 13 and there's the answer to question number one or sorry question number 14 from exercise 1c 
um, about algebraic methods, and uh, this is all about the factor theorem. So um, I hope that was clear for the students that asked this question, um, and thank you for asking. It will help others also if you ask. If you don't understand something, that's what you should do. But hopefully now other questions of the same type in this exercise that you asked about, you should be able to do yourself. So I'm going to leave it to you to answer those. And if you still have problems with those other questions, I will then go through them also. Okay, so this is um, uh, these questions of this from this exercise or from this, sorry, from this chapter of P2 can be found in this link here. So you might find other questions you might want to ask or uh, find out about which are already answered by clicking on this link for the chapter one solutions of algebraic methods, whatever I've been asked from them. Okay, I don't answer every question unless I'm, I'm asked to answer a question. And other questions that you might f uh, want to watch, which are from the same topics of long division, algebraic, um, uh, sorry, uh, the factor theorem, the, the remainder theorem, proofs, all the things to do with chapter one in this book, you'll find in the playlist that can be found in this area, in this section here. And you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.